the health center tonight is not a new therapy, but it is being used in a new way. It's called Interactive Metronome. A rehab hospital in York County is using the computer-based program to help patients recovering from concussions. Kendra Nichols reports. Julie Sterner of Dover is exercising her brain. In April, Julie suffered a severe concussion when she fell in a bounce house. At first, she thought she only had a migraine, but two days later, it was clear something was wrong. I wasn't able to read. Um, I couldn't process words. I wasn't able to find a word in my brain to explain what I wanted, which was very scary. One, four, six. That's when speech One, therapist Heather Barr three, entered the picture two, and helped Julie get her life back on track. They started therapy at Health South Rehab Hospital in York. When Julie first started, uh, the first day of therapy, you could just tell she wasn't there. Her eyes were glazed over, she was expressionless, and she, expressionless, and she just kind of looked lost. Part of her therapy was a program called Interactive Metronome. It was originally designed to help children with ADHD, but therapists have found it helps those recovering from a concussion. It really addresses the brain's timing and synchronicity, so it's really working the brain's network of attention and concentration. This is how it works. The patient hears a tone in their ear. Then they try to match their movements to the beat while also doing other tasks. Blue, three. And a few weeks into therapy, I feel like I started to meet the real Julie because she had a personality, she had expression, and she was energetic. And you could just almost see her coming back to life. Five months later, Julie is back to work and feeling great. I can help other people who have any of these symptoms to say there's help out there. Kendra Nichols. That was Kendra Nichols, of course. Interactive Metronome recently developed a program called I Am Home, which is a version of the program that people can use to do therapy in their home. If you think you may still be suffering from some side effects as a result of a concussion like fogginess, forgetfulness, irritability, or even depression, contact your physician and ask them about